Steve and his business partner, James, set up a licensed travel agency three years ago. Unlike many of the agencies working the streets here, their tours are officially accredited by the city of Rome, who are probably not aware of the total extent of what's happening on the streets. Do I always get the full package? If I, you know, if I buy the ticket for the tour, am I, am I going to see my hit list? Am I going to see the Basilica? Am I going to no, see the system? No, no, not, not necessarily. If you're a gatherer uh, selling here on the street, you'll say pretty much anything. Oh yes, you see the Basilica, the Vatican Gardens, and you get to have tea with the Pope at the end. I mean, they'll, they'll really go as far as, uh, as they can with that. And, and I hear all kinds of things when I'm down here from people. I challenge Steve to put his theory to the test with one of the many gatherers out here. But with us, our guide know the, the right points to go. Mm. When you go by yourself, you can round and round, walk seven kilometers, maybe don't find the bright points, maybe yeah. don't know what you're seeing because it's very sort of things, very pictures, art, statues. Mm -hmm. The Vatican Gardens. The Vatican Gardens? Vatican Gardens. We speaking. definitely see the Vatican Gardens. What? We see the Vatican Gardens yeah, too. Vatican and and Gardens. the Sistine the Vatican Gardens, um, that's a completely separate visit. You can't visit that by going to the museum. You have to book that. Uh, so that was just a lie. Yeah. Speaking. We definitely see the Vatican Gardens yeah, too. Vatican and the Sistine Chapel. You go in there? Raphael's room. Mm -hmm. Michelangelo's room too with the paintings. Oh, cool. Uh, the Michelangelo? Last judgment, Sist yeah. Sistine Chapel. You know, it says Raphael rooms. Um, the chances of you actually going there are probably about one in five. Uh, most of the agencies don't go there. But everything is included. Do they rely then on tourists actually asking, oh, I want to see the Raphael rooms, I want to see the Vatican art rooms? Well, they rely on 90% of people not knowing. Not what, knowing. I mean, they, they know it, knowing this, right? So if you know the Sistine Chapel, then, then you'll... You've come okay. to see the... Yes, yeah, so you've come to see this. You see that every time. I, I, okay. Just show me where I can see this. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. there it is. It's I right there on, about the page. Yeah, it's on yeah. a picture. And so that's really the... Well, then, the, isn't, the, that, isn't, that, isn't that kind of like, you know, aren't tourists asking for this if really they don't care about anything other than the... Yeah, I mean, that's, that's one of the problems is that people spend the money and time to get all the way over here from all over the world. Why bother just coming to see the one painting that you know? I mean, it wouldn't be nice to learn something, especially if you're taking a tour. Yeah. But uh, because there's no demand for it, or very little demand for it, uh, what you find is you know, people just right. trying to sell quickly, get you through, skip the line, and, and, uh, and that's it. 